Typha, the common cattail. From the shores of Madison's lakes to Afghanistan and Russia, the Typha family is highly adaptable, with 37 currently accepted natural hybrids throughout the world. With many names such as cattails here in America or bulrush and reed mace in the UK, the plants of the Typha family can be found in wetlands or areas with soft, muddy soil. The most prolific of the Typha family is Typha latifolia, native to every state in the US and most of Canada. This is, of course, the variant of the plant that can be found here in Madison. Typha latifolia's rapid proliferation throughout North America is due in large part to the plant's highly effective structure. Cattails are monocots secured to the soil by thick rhizomes. Cattails grow to heights varying from 3 to 8 feet tall, though their height can be deceptive as they often grow in shallow water. As such, cattails tend to dominate wetlands, marshes, even retention ponds and ditches. Surrounding the singular central spike are several long, broad leaves. These leaves have parallel leaf veins running through their length that gives them their hemispherical shape. While the leaves are typically straight at the bases, as they grow, they tend to twist and turn. The Typha family is monoecious, and as such, the male and female flower parts can be found on the same central spike. Though there are many variations of cattail native to the American wetlands, Typha latifolia can be identified by one singular flower structure containing both the male and female flowers within one superstructure. The nearest relative, Typha domingensis, native to Florida, has two flower structures separated by roughly an inch of stem, one containing the male flowers and one containing the female flowers. Cattails typically flower in the spring and summer, with flower spikes bursting and releasing their akenes to be scattered by the wind. In some cases, these flower spikes hold together long enough for the pressure to build to the point where they explode. The plants of the Typha family have seen many uses throughout the years, leading to humans cultivating them across the world. If harvested for human consumption in the fall, typically people use the starchy rhizome as it has nutritional value similar to that of rice or maize. During the spring, the bases of the leaves become edible, either raw or boiled. This is typically called Cossack asparagus after the Russians found it a viable food source. During the summer, when the flower spikes turn green, they can be boiled and eaten like corn on the cob. Aside from food, humans have used cattails for a variety of other uses. During World War II, the flower spikes were used as a replacement insert for the U.S. Navy's life vests. In testing, it was found that the cattails can remain submerged for over 100 hours and still maintain buoyancy. Due in part to its starchy nature, both in the rhizomes and in the flower spikes, as well as its high productivity, Typha latifolia has been labeled as a bioenergy crop. Cattails are one of the most prolific wetland species in the world, so much so that it is often considered an invasive weed. Due to the seed dispersal mechanism, it's not so difficult to understand how cattail populations can seem to explode overnight. However, Typha latifolia's economic implications make the plant a valuable addition to any wetland. And as the old outdoorsman Ewell Gibbons once said, for the number of different kinds of food it produces, there is no plant wild or domesticated which tops the common cattail. <laughs>